Hello everyone, it's me, Sunfire SG, and we are back for another episode of Mine Zealand. And uh, today is another collaboration episode. So we're here at my base at the moment, as just over this way, we have got the second monument. Just make it out over there as the moon begins to rise. And we're going to be joined by Ed from Cobbledump again. Now, he's been wanting to show his viewers for a while the insides of an ocean monument, so I feel like it's only fair that we get him along for, for this journey. So we're going to be taking on some Elder Guardians today, I hope you enjoy the episode. But for now, I'm going to head over to Spawn to drop off a bunch of arrows for Ed, as he's got a project he's been working on. Mm, Hello. That's a, definitely an outtake there. Yeah, zombie dot. Oh, did you just cure someone? Just... Yeah, just as I started recording. Ha! <laughs> okay, <clears throat> next clip. Um, So, Sunfire, how would you like to go into that building? Hmm. I don't know, it sounds quite enticing. Yep. That's, uh... Okay, so this is embarrassing, but those were supposed to kill you because, <laughs> see, you have the arrows and they're not in the dispenser. We were supposed to ah, right, die yeah. and end we're it all for once and that, for all. We're supposed to put them in there first, yep. were we? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we screwed this up. Hang on, I can fix or, this. You know, you screwed it up. Yeah, you, you, you want to be outside of the tripwire for that. That was, some, that was some nasty acting. <laughs> it was pretty bad, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's I nice. couldn't could figure out how to trigger it more properly. Um, hmm. it, it was it was very hard to set this thing up. You, but yeah, I I'll think, probably make it better later. Yeah, I think. Have, have you got a redstone clock in there at all? Yeah. Hmm. Is there a faster way to make the clock? Yes. Can I have a look at the redstone? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to get in. Uh, that's not, uh, the necessary, uh, a poof. Here we go, now we're in. Right, okay, so we've got... Now, I tried it with just one repeater, but that shorted the circuit. Hmm, because you end up with a burnout clock. Let's have a look. So that's... Recording. Tripwire. Oh, God, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> got Torch Tower there. I, think I mean, honestly, bewilderment would be the appropriate reaction at this point. I was bewildered for a while. Hmm. I could come back here at some point and, and tinker with it if you want. Yeah, for I sure. Think, I think there is a way to make it more rapid firing and also have it so you don't have to sort of step that far into the room to the tripwire because you can still kind of avoid the arrows at the moment. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's very much um, like a you know, settling for less sort of build I have right now, because, yeah. like, I, I started with, like, a really small building, right? Like, in the very earliest days of this, and mm -hmm. I was like, hmm, if it's that small, it could be a suicide boost. And then it got bigger when I actually started having to put redstone in it, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, the, the, we should be able to do something with the redstone. I, I'm quite confident yeah. of that. I've been um, playing ahead, basically. But leave it with me, because I'll need to do some, just, probably do some testing or tinkering. Yeah, awesome. But yeah, I can I can come back and I'll, I'll, I'll try and record something. To the next clip. To the next clip. Let's get out yeah, of this. Yeah, it's kind of like to hole. the bat cave. You'll see it in editing to the to the Batmobile or whatever. <laughs> I, just, I just like edit. Yeah, I'll edit that in. <laughs> okay, so that's clerk. Um, we should go down to the cave. Uh, actually, that's kind of another thing. Good thing we're here because. There is a part of that cave that we didn't actually explore, and it was Isn't an it? area that I was perfectly aware of beforehand oh. and somehow forgot. Yeah, um, probably just like a, a short clip sort of thing, but uh, yeah, yeah, go if we it. go down here first, first thing we gotta do is um, check out the uh, Kill the Creeper, the that's what we gotta do. Villager. Holy moly. You were so Did you do it? <laughs> yes. Can I put a torch at the back of here? Because every time I come down here, there's, there's some sort of mob. Uh, yeah, good, good call. <laughs> this, uh, this whole setup here is, um, it's basically set up to hide one special, uh, thing I've been hiding. Remember how they got that light train that already had mending on it? Yep. You had a mending book, didn't you? You told me about it. Yep. Right here. Ah, nice. Yeah, so, 
that that's an annoying sort of piece of engineering. I hate having to break that dropper just to get into this chest. <laughs> uh, just gonna place that there. The dispenser back. I mean, the dropper. The the droppers are good as like a locker sort of thing because they're like a chest, but they're a full block, and they don't need something above them to be here. Um, okay, so if we go down to here, there's this other villager, and he shouldn't be killed anytime soon, but he is here, and I gotta make sure that he's blocked off whenever I, uh, when I trade coal with him. Has he got a name? Really should have called this Is guy Coal right? Dump. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be pretty useful to have this guy here, you know, if I ever go mining for coal in the last 400 hours of this thing existing. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna close that. There we go. Um, so I did a bit more mining for coal down here, you know, before that guy was cured. Yep. But um, there's a yeah, there's a pretty obvious sort of uh, outlook. See this? Huh. I knew that was there already, but for some reason I forgot to look at it last time. And uh, there's another uh, one of those uh, special holes. All right, Skelly. It was kind of like. Unlike the other time, because I've got diamond armor on. We've both got diamond armor this time. Mm -hmm. So, we're at Sunfire's Guardian Farm. And, uh... I might break this with these guys a bit. I'll... I mean, it's hard to tell, right? Because they got that weird thorns thing going on. Oh my they, god! They do. They hostile mobs down. <laughs> yeah, you might yeah, want to so, do that. The thorns thing. Can you remind me how that thorns thing with guardians works? Because I don't play with these guys that often. Okay, they are going to hurt you. So if you've not got mending on your armor, take it off. We've got a regen beacon, so you're not going to die. And right. um, then just use your sword. You go if you, have you got Sweeping Edge? No, I do not. Do you want to borrow my sword? Cause my oh, sword yeah, that's right. I have to grind. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, my sword will clear out quite a lot of those in one fell swoop. So if I throw you this yep. one. Right. And you uh, give them a bit of a whack, you should see uh, levels fly up. Awesome. Okay, so I clicked them and nothing happened. It was you kind of just... strange. Timing, I guess. Yep, there you go. You start there we go. That. That's that's looking pretty promising. Awesome. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and enchant on my armor and stuff, and I'll have a few clips for that. No. See you soon, Cobble Dump uh, fans. <laughs> cool. I almost called them Cobble Dumpians. That would have been... Uh, <laughs> Well, that, com that, that would have been scary because they that have like an actual fandom name and yeah. you, know, you know what happens when fans of that. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait over here because I will keep them spawning if I'm a certain distance away. So you can stay All down right. there and wait for them and I'll just sort of stand here for a bit. Awesome. Um, I think I'll give myself like 100 levels or something. Ooh, good luck. It'll Does take that take too long? Um, yeah. Because it gets, really it gets progressive... Stuff. Yeah, but it gets progressively slower. Yeah. So, like, I managed to get up there because I was basically just building in here all the time and constantly repairing my tools and not actually, you know... Classic, enchanting classic anything. RPG, man. Yeah, exactly. Um, so once you've got a decent amount of levels, head to the enchantment area, enchant your stuff, and come back. Because then when you start with zero levels again, it's going to be much quicker. Right. All right. So... What we'll need is some side blocks, so take those. Three stacks should be enough. I mean, I've got heaps. I should should be plenty. But if you jump, I'm gonna take the cobblestone off my hot bar for for God's sake. Do we have any um <laughs> buckets? Do we need um, buckets? Not really. No, we shouldn't need buckets. But uh, cool. head over here. Get ready for some spookums, because that jump scare's coming. Any second? Yes? No? I can't remember what I put on the beacon here. I hope it's regen and... Uh, s s resistance, maybe? Let's have a check. Cool. Yeah. I would say I feel yes. bad about this, but I basically do this kind of thing all the time in the yeah. Binding of Isaac, like combining items and stuff like that. Like the Whore of Babylon, the Book of Belial, hmm. the... Crown of Thorns, all that, all that stuff I'm always doing with item stuff. I think my biggest cheating stuff was like with money, because I'd always end up with the dollar like over and over again in the same yep. run, which feel is like the base currency in that game is cents. Feel free to grab some more slime box if you need to, but I mean, I might, right. as well, might as well leave them in there to be honest. 
just in case yeah. something does happen. I don't think it would. Uh, we're going to be going together. So down here is the first Elder Guardian. He's in a main room, usually on his own. Uh, we basically just wail on him until he dies and drops a sponge, and then we can start to um, kind of just... You, you basically place these at the top level, and then you knock them out. So you fill in the whole top level, knock it out, and then you've got a bit of a uh, bit of room to actually breathe. So just follow my lead. You'll 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 get it. Let's get down here. Get my sword out. I feel like mining fatigue should, and I really hope this doesn't suddenly happen to us somehow. Um, I talk about undersea exploration. Yeah. Um. Maybe can potentially it will make more sense for mining fatigue to turn um Do you want the sponge? To turn placing blocks off. Yeah, I've got the sponge. Right. So if you just start filling in this top layer. I will, I just want to put the sponge in a chest. Ah right, right, right. This is my sponge. There are plenty like it, but this sponge is mine. I used the clean dishes and that's pretty nice. <laughs> it's a wet sponge, so I'll put it on a rack and it will dry in the sun. And all love Lega School. I usually start with these little corridors first, because they're quite easy to do. Oh yeah, um, I've got a fact about um, water in this game, but I'll tell you about that later. Alrighty. Is this about the new version? See, um, yeah. Yeah, um, this is going to be really annoying, because... Um, because uh, water uh, joins up with other water, as long as there's a layer of anything beneath it, including water itself. Ah. So yeah, um, that's something that is actually more annoying when other YouTubers don't know about it, and you watch them, and like, they're like all baffled by what's going on, and it's like, you, how can you not see that? You know? <laughs> it's just like infinite water sources being created by an L shape that... Didn't used to do that, but now it sure as hell does. Man, these slime blocks are making things incredibly trivial and incredibly slow. Yep, it's a lot of grinding, but it's way quicker than using sponges. Way, way quicker. What are we missing? That's true. Missing the block here. There we go. Right, is this bit done? Oh no, this is... Oh god. Oh. What's up? Nothing. I mean, it made sense in video, but uh, basically, I'm just, uh, it's just overwhelming this water, right? Mm, depends how you go about it, I guess. Like, I once you kind of get used to like sectioning little bits off, and then just working in sections, you can kind of work out where everything needs to go. Uh, yeah, like I get water physics. My problem is that um, I can hardly see like when I'm down here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That can be a problem. Brightness plus ten percent. Let's uh, yeah, brightness. Okay, I'm about to come back down with more slime blocks. I feel like Moyang is going to be nerfing this pretty soon. Oh yeah, no, they definitely will. He huffed and he puffed and he signed an eviction notice. <laughs> oh, I found an Elder Guardian. Just through there, buddy. Let's set a little place to get some yeah. breath. Or a couple. Put a torch in here so you can see too. Alright. Uh, there's, there's a breathing hole there. Yep, there's one here as well. Wow, we have like all the effects. There's not much danger in the overworld anymore. Except for the whole always. Yeah, and watch thing. out for him because he does hit quite hard. You know, his spikes are still out. That's. Oh well, there he goes. So we've got one more to find. And then we can sort of say this is clear. Yeah, this is, um... Well, I'll tell you, um... Mad Jack, I bet, is gonna, um... He's probably gonna enjoy you know, this, I think. 
Yeah, I know, he's gonna enjoy it, but once again, he'll be like, This is your boss fight? <laughs> I mean, fair enough, because I mean, to be the fair, Dragon it is... ignored us. It is kind of, um... It is a boss fight, but if you know the tricks of the trade, it's not, kind of thing. Yeah. It becomes a gear check pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's that's Minecraft. Or, well, it's most games, actually, I suppose, are like that. If you've got fairly far into the game and you've got awesome gear, then you don't need to worry about most things in the game. And, you know, the Vindicators, well, they're handsome men. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll trust you on that one. <laughs> it's debatable. Uh, but they're an unhealthy shade of grey. Well, you, you, Twilight was popular for a while, keep in mind. It was. Not with me, but it was. Yeah, it was not popular with me either. In <laughs> fact, it was kind of actually... I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but Twilight had the biggest internet hate dem ever back in the day. Like, that was a meme. Oh, yeah. Just hating I... Twilight. It was a whole subculture. It's kind of like when people hate Nickelback as well. Like, I'm sure like, there's some Nickelback oh, yeah. songs which are good. But... I think the Nickelback one survives, though. I think oh, the yeah, Nickelback, that definitely uh, did survive. Nickelback hatreds... Uh, survived let's see which way have we not gone so I guess if you um oh. were still able to play this wood you're probably saying this into a farm too would you um well the plan was that 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 other one was going to be the farm and this one was going to be my base ah but it was a lot of work just doing the first one so I end up just Saying no, I'll put it on the back burner for now. I don't need it. Oh, wow. oh I found the Elder Guardian. I'm oh, really? Yep. Yeah. He's running this way. I'm still drowning. Um, Have you got any slime blocks? Just because this is the perfect spot. Yeah, I've got slime this. blocks. Because you can just kind of do a line above you and uh, not quite. Ah, finally! Oh, I did it underneath one of those gold pods. Eh? It took forever. Alright, I'm coming. Can you see my name tag? No. I'm heading back to the No, I, I see it now. I, I see it now. Good. I'm coming. Oh, wait, are you? Oh! What the hell just happened? Well, I'm glad I recorded that because that was a confusing moment <laughs> for all. This way. Man, I could never do this in real life, eh? Hey? This would be the scariest thing. Yeah, you know, I can't stand being underwater, so like, there's no way I'd be doing this in real life. Shoot me! So right at the end of here, there is a ton of guardians. I think I hate you because I heard the ding. I've been shooting them with arrow. I was getting hit by a laser as well, though, so... Oop, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah, I might as well just flank them at this point. Good good tactic is to you know run around these think. pillars, because if you break their line of sight, they can't hit you. So you can just you kind know of what I around. think? Oh, I just got the Guardian symbol right in front of the Guardian. <laughs> the Elder Guardian. I just, I just weather rushed him. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Kill his Speaking of too. which, there is one last thing I can think of. As far as topic coverage, Ooh, you know, other than the buildings goes. I think one last thing would be a wither, like a, a like a yeah, actual, like actual on the surface wither, wither fight. battle. Yep, I'm down for that. Okay, oh, my clock oh. says it's still evening. Hey, dude, guess what? There is a spider. Right. Awesome, I'm coming. Come this way. Yeah, I just gotta undrown myself. Okay, undrowned. I can't see you at all. There you are. <laughs> Up here. So this is oh, what we want to clear out with the slime box again. Just it makes getting these sponges so much easier. Imagine if these were dried to begin with. Like, like Mo Yang accidentally Coated sent the structure wrong. block to dry a sponge. 
Yeah. I mean, it'd be a very simple mistake. I bet um, they actually had this at one point in time, oh, but they never got probably. to release because it was like... I mean, that's, that's how programming works. No one makes a gold star program. Except for one Mojangster on occasion, uh, I think. What are we missing? We're missing something here, I think. Oh, that's what we're missing. Need some light in here. I'm gonna stick it. There we go. That's better. That's much better. Yes, it is. And I think there's no tool that breaks sponge quickly. No, there's not. Like extra quickly. It's just with your hands. I was basically. thinking of making a mod for that called the Other Hammer, and an Other Hammer was um basically a tool that broke any block faster if it was like that. Take it away, Sunflyer. Yeah, thank you for joining us. I hope you've had fun. Uh, it was surprisingly easy, but we kind of knew it probably would be. Uh, it's been a fun episode of Mind Zealand, and we'll be back for another episode soon. See you next time. What he said. <laughs>